we got a mobile vlogging kit review coming your way right now. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Joby Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Check out the nice retail box and packaging right here. We can learn about everything that's included with this kit. So we're gonna get a microphone, we're gonna get a light, and then we're gonna get that Gorillapod mobile rig as well so we can create smoother content, get better sound, and vlog like a pro. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see our user guide and manuals right here. One's for the LED light, one's for the mobile rig, and one's for the microphone. Next, you can see we have a Joby branded case right here, a nice carrying and travel case, followed by a couple of the Gorillapod mobile rig arms. Then you can see our phone holder right here. Check that out with the Joby logo and branding. We have one holder at the top. We have another one at the side and one at the bottom. We can adjust this too, so you can see the rotation right there. We can also loosen this up and then we can pull this out and adjust the phone however we want, guys, if we wanna do our horizontal or vertical filming, portrait or landscape mode, we can do that and then just tighten it back in place. Pretty cool, very nice, heavy duty. Then you can see a couple of our adapters right here. This is gonna be great for a GoPro if you wanna attach another camera. Then we have our additional mounts for our light and other accessories. We have one 3.5 millimeter to iPhone, iOS device converter right here with our lightning connection. Then you can see we have our 3.5 millimeter to TRRS converter right here. This is gonna be if you wanna connect your microphone to your smartphone. And if you have an iPhone, an Apple device, you'll have to use this included adapter to connect it to your device. Then we have a USB Type-C charging cable. Then you can see we have your regular TRS cable as well. This is gonna be used to connect your microphone to your camera. We have our mini LED light right here. Check that out, look at that. Joby logo and branding. Everything looks great. We have one threaded connector right there. We can clip this back and that's gonna reveal our charging port in there. So USB type C to charge this light up. Magnet on the back. Then you can see one mount right here and our other mount option right there. Then we have the two buttons for the light. Pretty cool. Then you can see our shock mount for our included microphone. Here's the microphone right here with the Joby logo and branding on it. We can go ahead and pull it out from the windscreen dead cat. You can see the mic right here. Pretty cool. And last but not least, we have our Joby Gorillapod. So you can get a feel for that. Look at how flexible it is. So many different options depending on what we want to do with this kit. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything charged up and set up. So we got everything charged up and ready to go. I have a camera here and a phone as well, so we can try out both configurations of this mobile vlogging kit. But before we get everything set up, let's go over the light really quick. You can see for the mini LED light right here, we have two buttons on the side. The left button with the raised dot, that's gonna be your power button. You're gonna hold it down for one second to turn it on or off. Then you're gonna use the left and the right button once it's powered on to adjust the brightness. We have five different levels and they walk you through the battery settings for it right here. If you use the minimum brightness, you're gonna get up to 380 minutes of runtime. If you use the maximum brightness, you're gonna get 40 minutes of runtime or somewhere in between, you have 130 minutes, 75 minutes, 55 minutes, and 40 minutes maximum, 380 minimum. Then we also have a strobe mode as well. Hold down both buttons for three seconds to activate the strobe mode. Then you can use the left and the right buttons again to adjust the intensity of the strobe. So let's go ahead, let's turn off all the studio lights and try this out. So you can see I got the light turned on right now. We're at our minimum brightness setting and it is very bright still. I'm very impressed with the quality of this light. Now let's go ahead, let's increase the brightness right here. It is super bright. And there's our maximum brightness, holy cow. Very bright, incredible how bright that light is. Let's go back down to our dimmest setting right there and let's drop the diffuser on. 
It's way easier to look at this light and you can see how it changes on my face. Now we're gonna increase the brightness. We're at our medium setting, medium high. And now here's our maximum setting, a lot easier to look at as well, really diffuses the light right here. So let's go ahead, you can see on the table as we shine it, the different options. And then let's do it without again. You can see how intense the light really is, super impressive how bright this is. Now let's go ahead, let's hold down both buttons for three seconds to get into the strobe mode. So now you can see that's our maximum strobe right there, super fast. Now let's go ahead, let's decrease the strobe. So you can see the strobe is slowing down and we should be at our slowest strobe setting right there. And I don't think there's any, any uh, slower setting. And now we can increase the strobe again. So there's our middle one, middle high, and then our maximum strobe right there. Oh, that is very hard to look at. Let's put that diffuser on again. You guys can see the different settings as we slow it down now. There's our middle setting. And then here is the slowest setting with the strobe. So the first way we're gonna set everything up is with the camera. So let's go ahead, let's attach our tripod to the bottom of the camera. Very simple, just your standard thread. It's gonna fit right in place, just like that. And now we're ready, we can flip the screen out. We can start taking our vlog, but we have more accessories to add. So we have the hot shoe mount at the top of our camera. We're gonna configure the light to mount to the camera and the microphone. So let's go ahead, let's put the microphone right by the controls here so we can still um, use them when it's mounted to the camera. And let's drop our microphone in place. So it's just gonna pinch right on, just be very careful, but it fits right in there. And then we can attach the um, dead cat if we want to it, our windscreen. And then the bottom, we're gonna slide this guy in place, just like you see right there. Let's go ahead, let's put the logo facing out, that'll look cool. And now we're ready for the adapter. Just slide everything gently in place. And there we go, check that out. Now we're ready to connect our cable. So we have our microphone cable right here. This is the one you're gonna to wanna to use if you're connecting it to a camera, the TRS adapters. So we can plug whatever one we want in to the microphone and, and then the other end into our camera. So let's go ahead, let's do the microphone one with the 90. And then let's see on our camera where we can attach our microphone. So you can see a couple different options there. And then you can look on the other side as well, depending on your camera and where everything's situated. In our case, our microphone port's right there. We can just gently plug it in. Cover's in the way, there we go. So you can see a couple different options there for us. But how cool is that? Look at that setup right there. We could obviously add the diffuser back on if we wanted. Really cool. How about I put the windscreen on too? Well, we'll look at it with and without for a sec. But there's our first setup. So cool, guys. Look at that. We're gonna be vlogging pros right here with how that looks. Now let's go ahead, let's put the windscreen on. And it just gently goes on, twisted in place. Well, look at that, how cool is that? Then we can adjust our tripod too. If you want a better grip. And there you go, you can start taking your vlogs. No issues at all. Look at that sweet setup. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything configured for a mobile device. Now you can see we're ready to set this up for our mobile device. So I went ahead, I attached the two arms to the left and to the right of the phone holder and we added the tripod on the bottom. I went ahead, I put my iPhone in here as well too, so you can see what that looks like. Just make sure when you put your device in that you really tighten everything down. You want that nice and firm in there. Get it to the level that you want and then just tighten it. And now you can see no issues there. It's not gonna come out, it's firmly in place. And then we just gotta tighten this guy depending on you know if we want a tilt or not. So there we go, you can see the setup so far. It looks like a person, which is pretty funny. Now we're ready to attach our accessories. So in this case, we don't have to keep these attached to each other. We have room to put the mic on one side and the light on the other. So that's what we're gonna do in this video today. So let's go ahead. We actually have a hot shoe mount, but we also have our included threaded connector. So let's go, let's just twist this on right now. Let's see where we're at. All right. So there we go, we got the light on right there. And let's go ahead, let's just twist it around. 
Ta-da, we got the light installed. Now we're ready for the microphone. We can do the same thing. We can just go ahead and we can just gently twist everything in place. So we're gonna tighten that down. And now we're ready, let's rotate this too. So there we go, you can see microphone on one side, light on the other side. Now we're ready to attach the microphone. So you're gonna use this included cable that's clearly marked for you with the TRS, and we have the TRRS right here. So smartphone end, then we have our mic end. So use the 90 on the mic. Let's go ahead, let's plug that in. And then we have to use the included adapter for our iPhone right here. And now you can see, there we go. And let's bring it back around again. Let's configure that microphone to get it where we want it for our vlog. And we can fold that stuff in. You can really get creative with how you want everything to look right here. But check out that initial setup for us. I'm happy with it. I mean, we can really rotate this again, whatever we desire. So check that out. Look at that phone set up right there for some mobile vlogging. And again, we can do either option depending on if we want to take some portrait video or the vertical video, or if we want the horizontal or landscape video. But looks sweet. Let's go ahead, let's bring this around. And there we go, we can start taking a quick vlog of ourselves right here. We have the light if we want to, you know, boost up the light on our face, especially if we're in like a low light environment. And then we can pick up much better audio as well too, as we're vlogging than what we can get with our mobile device. So really, really neat. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. All right, so you can see the first vlog we're gonna do is here in the studio, checking everything out. It looks really cool, I'm very impressed with the setup. Having on the tripod's really nice too because we get the ability to be able to just have slightly smoother footage than if you know we're just holding the phone. So really happy with how everything looks as we kind of whip around right here. We're using the iPhone SE 2020, so it's not a spectacular camera, but you can see the quality, how everything looks right here in the studios. We're doing a quick vlog. So I'm giving you guys a behind the scenes tour of the studio right here. What do you guys think of it? Let me know. We got you know, overhead camera, main camera, side camera. We got all that good stuff right here. Multiple monitors where we can see everything. How about just for fun, let's go ahead. Let's turn on the light and let's go to the max brightness. Oh, we were already on the max brightness. Let's leave it on the max brightness. And can you tell, does that make a difference at all? It's definitely really bright right here, but we got a ton of studio lights, so I'm not expecting much of a difference with the included light, but there it is on. And then here, I'll, I'll cover it. Hey. So I think, it, I think it might make a smidge of a difference with all these lights, but again, it's so powerful here in the studio, that's gonna be hard to tell. That's gonna make more of a difference when we're in a low light environment. So let's go ahead, let's try that out right now. Now I'm doing a quick vlog in the bathroom here. It's the darkest room of my house. There's no windows. We're only using the light that's being illuminated from the mini LED. Let's take a look at ourselves in the mirror right here. Check out that setup, how cool is that it's so bright with that light. Let's go ahead, let's turn down some of the light settings right here if we can find the button. All right, let's go ahead, let's turn it down. Here's the minimum brightness. And look at how good everything still looks with that, with the minimum brightness with the light. Loving the setup. Not too heavy to hold either, much better than holding a camera trying to vlog. So if you do wanna use your phone, it's just nice, you have your light, your audio, your camera, and a big display to be able to see how everything looks. Obviously too, this light's gonna help if you have a camera that doesn't perform as well in low light environments, perform better. And we're using the front facing camera of an iPhone SE 2020, so just keep that in mind with what you're using to vlog. Now I'm outside here doing another quick sample vlog for you guys to see what it's like. Again, the quality of your video is gonna vary depending on your camera but that light will really help you and so will the audio to really boost your vlog. And I'm moving now, so we're on the go. I'm moving right here. You can see what it's like. Just having the tripod itself is really steady. So having a nice steady tripod in your hand is gonna give you better grip than just holding your device. And it really is a complete kit. You can see how everything looks as we're taking a vlog and a walk out here. And you can hear the background noises too, maybe from the microphone. But it is, it is, there's a little slight breeze today too, which is nice to have the windscreen for it. 
to not pick up as much audio if at all possible. So we're walking around and get a feel for how everything is going to be if you're going to use this to do your vlogs. I think you're going to be pretty happy with the complete kit and everything that it has to offer. I'm really enjoying the vlogging so far. I'm still looking at the vlog kit itself right here and we actually have another hot shoe attachment at the top so we could add an additional accessory don't forget about the gopro or something else along those lines if you want to add something else to your setup besides a dedicated microphone and a light you'll be able to do it with this kit so overall i've had a good experience using this mobile vlogging kit it definitely is an all-in-one solution with everything you need it's nice they include all the extra cables for you and the lightning adapter if you want to use this with an iphone it's really a solid setup and I'm very impressed. I think overall what I'd wanna see improved in the future is maybe some controls and options for the microphone to maybe make some on the fly adjustments. That would be really cool, but it definitely sounds better than using the built-in microphone from your device. Also with the light, I really like the light guys. It is 1000 lumens. I went ahead, I looked it up. Couldn't believe how much light they can pack into that small mini LED form factor. That is a fantastic light. It also has Bluetooth functions as well because one of my biggest complaints is the buttons aren't the easiest to use when you're trying to vlog and you know get the settings right, but they are there and you can find them and press them. It would be nice if there was a different way to maybe control them hardware wise that could be redesigned, maybe just a little bit simpler, but there is the Bluetooth option. But again, with Bluetooth, if you're using your device to vlog, that's kind of not as helpful unless you set it before you know you start your vlog. But what if you want to make some real time adjustments? You know, it would be nice if you could um, maybe just have a little bit better hardware design for that light. But I really like the light. I can't say enough good things about it. I just can't believe how powerful it is in such a small form factor. It'll really help you up your vlogging game if you're in low light environment. So again, it's a complete kit. They did a good job. Extra attachments like at the top right here if we want to put another camera on there, that sort of thing. We can do that with this whole setup. And I'm happy with the quality too of the phone holder. They didn't skimp out on it. It's nice that they actually have, you know, metal and turn knobs and all that good stuff. So you can really, you know, have a solid grip and footing of your phone as well as the nice tripod to hold it to help make everything a little bit steadier than if you're just holding it in your hand. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.